Right, well, hi everybody, and welcome back to Lundy's Wild Camp Stroke Bushcraft. I wasn't going to do any video on the first thing today. It's um, it's now half past twelve. I've been up to camp for a few hours now. As you can see, it's uh, it's still looking nice and uh, as it was when we left. Um, Rooney popped up the other day with his with his son, uh, just to drop some water off. And his son dropped off a couple of uh, cans of Jack Daniels and Coke for myself. So thank you. Well appreciated, mate. I'll definitely enjoy them. I'll have a couple tonight and a couple tomorrow. But I ain't staying at camp today. I've just come up here to kill a few hours, do a couple of little bits of prep for tomorrow. Um, I'm going to be going and meeting up with another couple of uh, wild campers later on. Rooney was on night ship last night, so I'm just waiting for him to come up and then we're, I'm going to go and meet him somewhere and then we'll walk and meet up with these other two people that I'm mentioning. I'll leave it to later on, it'll be a nice surprise throughout the video. But anyway, what I've been doing is I've just been prepping some bits of uh, some trees that fell over and the old uh, storms that we had. So I'm just cutting off a lot of the limbs and I've cut off a lot of the limbs there as well. I want to make a barrier here tomorrow. So that's all I'm doing there. Nothing interesting, just a bit of prep off camera. But I'm just going to have to see to this because I'm just busy making myself some noodles and that because I'm feeling a little bit peckish like and it's just it's over boiling a bit so I just need to turn the gas down so yeah I'm just uh, cooking some noodles and I'm gonna add something else I think they're nearly done them like and then I'm just gonna add a tin of mackerel fillets in tomato sauce it's uh, what's it in? Tomato and basil sauce. It's in. So yeah, just to give us a little bit of a bit of a perk before I go on a big yomp. And uh, I'm gonna get myself a couple of bottles of water, and that's about it, really. So and anyway, I'm gonna have this fat, have this scrad. Okay, sorry about the camera bobbling all over there. And next time you see me, I'll be meet up with met up with me mucka Rooney and we'll be walking in and ca catching up with a couple of other lads. One of them I haven't seen for nearly three years. So I'm looking forward to meeting them again. So anyway, I'm gonna have this and I'll catch you at my next location. All right, stick around. I guarantee it's gonna be fun. See you later. Well, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but I've got a deer just there. So I've been sitting here dead quiet, just listening. I can't believe it. Let's see if it walks in the camp. I need to stay perfectly still. Nah. It's just gone off. See it come through the trees there. I've scooped it. Oh, a big deer. Right, well, I decided to make the wall. I forgot, I just because I've had everything packed away, I didn't get my camera out. Um, and as you can see, it's it's formed up quite nicely. Now, what I did at the beginning, before I started it, I just started collecting loads of big, massive bits of uh, rotten tree and just built a bit of a barrier. And then I just started um, layering the the cutoffs on top of it. And I've like linked them in with the, the the, the cut off parts into it and it's just locked it all in place and then there's a small little bit just went over to there just to block that little corner piece off but yeah that's that's working quite well um let's just take a little sit in the shelter so obviously it's going to block my view up that area there so i won't be able to see if anybody's coming but the thing is when the wind's blowing that's the whole idea of it and uh, hopefully if anybody's walking around up there, they won't be able to see the shelter. So what we're going to do now is, I'm going to take a walk about 100 metres 
across the other side of that hedge that I've just built and then we're going to have a look and see how much the camp stands out now Right, so as you can see I'm about 20 paces away from camp obviously I've got all these trees in the way so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk around just like normal people would Alright, obviously where I'm walking now is a little bit dodgy because I've got a big massive trees hanging up but yeah it's doing okay, like it's hiding a bit. Yeah. And as we walk around, and we'll come into it. Let's walk straight ahead now. Yeah, you can see the camp, but it's helped to it, it's helping to disguise it a bit from a distance. But the main thing that I wanted it for was a wind barrier. And I think that's going to work sweet as a nut. Obviously it's all going to die off. You know, it'll probably die off within a month or two. And then I'll just have to uh, do something different. Because uh, where I've been cutting all these off the trees and all that, some of them are starting to die back already. Like, But yeah, if I get something like that, going all the way around camp with a couple of little um, entrances in and out, I'll be happy days. Like, Yeah, spotty dog, like, spotty dog. That's what I was wanting. Happy days. Right, hi everybody. Hello. It's been a long time since I've done any more recording. We've just been sitting chilling and having a laugh and having a couple of drinks and that. But uh, I've got Rooney's tea on the go and then I'll be doing mine next. So I've already cooked the steak for five minutes on one side. And then I've just added some uh, tomatoes and mushrooms. And then when I think it's nearly ready, I'll just pour half of um, this peppercorn sauce in. and. Get that heated up and then I'll transfer that over onto his plate and then I'll cook mine. So yeah, we've got some nice big massive stirloin steaks. The midges have started coming back out again, so I'm getting bit at bits, hence why I've got me me neck thing on my heat. It's just to stop it getting bit like to be honest. But we're having a right laugh. The lads are um out and about. Rooney's just on his way back now there with some bits and pieces. Damien and Dave are over there giving each other man hugs. Man hugs, so, yes. And living the life we are, it's <coughs> abs it's it's great to just sit and chill out and have a laugh. And I'm sorry I'm not bringing you here. Yeah. We'll be putting the videos on, uh, the camera on a bit later on, but for the time being, we're just having to catch up really, to be honest. But uh, what you got there, Rooney? Um, I brought a hard boiled egg or two. Oh, right, we're having hard boiled eggs, are we? Uh, being squashed in the burgan. Squashed in the burgan. Yes. Oh, and the boys are making their way back to the fire pit area. Biggie boo! <laughs> Please release me. Can't you see? Da -da -da. If I was in love. That's the entertainment for the night gone. 
We'll see us in the morning. No, we'll not. I'm only kidding. I'll be back later on. I'm going to finish off cooking Rooney's tea while he stuffs his face full of eggs. He talks about me eating more than a small village. He needs tadpoles. Look at him. I've eh? never had any in a day, mate. Oh, here we go. Self, self, self. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm going to cook his food. Hope he's going to enjoy it. And I'll see you later. Woo! Hi. Right. Hi, everybody. Well, I've made my tea. And there it is there, and I'm going to wash it down with a nice Jack Daniels and cook. Excuse all them empty cans there. I'm Kids, just, it's, it's, I've only, I've only had, I haven't, I've had one can I got given off Damien, I've had two cans of Jack Daniels and cook, and now I've got these. He, he, he's had 22 cans of Jack No, I haven't. Do I, do I sound like I've had 20 cans yeah. of lager? I didn't yes. think so. Like. Oh, yes, you but do. But anyway, I'm going to sit and enjoy my food. It's not like... We'll bring us back a little bit later on because we've got a couple of things going to be getting done around camp. <laughs> Davey's a cracker. He's a nutter. <laughs> He's a... Uh, um, <laughs> come here. No, no. For Christ's sake. <laughs> I'll tell you what it is. Sorry for swearing Jimmy, everybody. I've just sitting my tired spot there like I was... Has he? Are you Brilliant. seeing the beekeeper oh. over there? There's the beekeeper. I'm surprised if there's any here. There's a big <laughs> the, anyway, the beekeeper. I say, there's an any weight. I'm going to go and eat my scram before it gets too cold. All right, and I'll catch you later on. Right. I dim now what's going to happen with this I'm video. And I, I'm just divin' now. Right. See you ah, later. Bye. Right, well, good morning, everybody. It's um, it's five past nine in the morning. I think we've all had a canny sleep. Damien's up and about. He's just getting packed up. I'm just got a brew on the go. Uh, Rooney's just getting himself sorted out in his hammock. And I don't know what's going on with Davey. Like, <laughs> I think he's still a kip him. Like, but I've just got a kettle boiling there. Well, I've got a, some water on the stove, and I'm just going to have a brew this morning. I was going to have a porridge, but it looks like I've went and forgot them. So me and Rooney are going to be heading off up to our camp this morning. So once we get up there and get sorted, we'll have a brunch, stroke dinner, um, and then we just crack on. That'll be in a different video, like I think. I'll see how much footage I've got for this one, which isn't very much, I'm afraid. It was more of a social night than anything else last night. Um, what a good laugh it was. The, the conversations that we're having were just not suitable for camera at all like um, I think I've done a little bit of a time lapse and that was about it and showed you cooking some food and uh, yeah but this area here where Damien camps is just midge city like even this morning I'm glad I was in my hammock with a net around us like so but yeah I'm getting bit to bits now just I've been up half an hour and it's absolutely horrendous like so anyway i'm gonna get this brew made get that dummy neck and then uh get packed up and then get me sell get me sell away sorry about that bleeping of my phone there i've just switched my phone on as well like make sure there's no messages from home but anyway i'm gonna get this brew and i'll catch you later Right, well, that's me, had me cup of tea. As you can see, I've had to don the net again because I'm just getting savaged by midges. This is definitely midge city down here where Damien comes like. But uh, yeah, he um, set up last night. So I had the, the one wind top. I did have it set up like a tent and everything. But to be quite honest, I felt as if I was hemmed in. I, I, I like a view when I'm in a hammock. I like a view when I'm out camping full stop, like. Hence why I don't really do much tent camping. But yeah, as you can see, I don't know if you can pick up the mozzies on the on the actual camera itself, like, but they're absolutely swarming with like. So basically this morning all I've done is I've just sat on that lump there, had a cup of tea. I haven't had any porridge or anything because I went and forgot it. And there's all my main kit there, all hung up and thingied. I've just got a few bits um charging. And then my cans that I drank last night. I've just crushed them and then instead of putting them in a bag, I've just put them in this tub that I had our meat tomatoes and mushrooms in. So I had, a, I had a couple of cans of them, Jack Daniels and Coke, and then I had two of me normal Jack Daniels and I had a can off, um, off Damien like. So quite a pleasant night. 
and uh, yeah, good bit of banter last night, like, but unfortunately not good enough for the camera, like, um, it was just too, too much, like, a lot of personal things as well, that we're talking about, but anyway, um, yeah, DD Super Light Hammock is absolutely brilliant, except when you've got holes in your net, and the mozzies get in, I didn't set it properly, I've never been in a hammock for absolutely ages, and it was like being in a, in a banana boat last night, like, so basically I ended up in the middle of my hammock in the fetus position and that was nice and comfy. As you can see, Rooney's got a similar setup. Alright. And uh, we're just sort of like everybody's uh, sort of like mulling around now, getting my kit sorted out and things. Um, I'm not sure what the lads are doing like. So I've got a little bit of tidying up to do in the fire area. Uh, get all that cleaned up and things. But you can see the, the boys are over there targeting. Um, I don't know where Davey is. I, I think he's still in bed actually. <laughs> but aye, it's a nice little woodlands this. It's, um, it's, it's, um, aye, it's a nice woodlands. Some nice trees. I could make some nice things down here. Like there's a little, there's absolutely, on the far end there, there's absolutely tons of dead standing and wind damaged trees to get, to build stuff down here, it'd be great, but because of the the mozzy situation, I just, I, I wouldn't have a permanent camp here, me, like, it's just too much. Great in the winter, but summertime, oh, it's horrendous, like, I've never, I've never camped in a part of Parwood like this in my life, but anyway, I'm going to go over and see the boys, I'm not going to take the camera uh, and then the next time you see me, I'll be getting packed away. that you could pop in and see where on the pop in. Oh, are you coming out of the player? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Ah, it was a canny night. Oh, uh, obviously night. we didn't catch much footage last night like but uh, hey ho, that's the way it goes. It was more of a social wasn't it than yeah. than a video type one. So I mean, it's it's great filming when that stuff educational and people's gonna learn from but if it's just like a you know, a, a nice sit round the fire. Ah, just catch all rubbish. Well, we were talking about personal stuff as well, so yeah. I couldn't really get put on camera like. So, but uh, hi, um, thanks for having me, lads. Oh, and we obviously, all the and ob obviously, we'll still be here a lot longer than what you are. Because Woody really likes to thoroughly pack everything away, doesn't he? Ah, look at him. Uh, three three hours ago, three hours ago he started packing up, you know. Three hours ago and he's, he hasn't even moved. I'm going at a holiday of pace. Well, hurry up because I've got a shelter to build. Right, lads. I'll just put me camera down there a second. Jimmy, as you know, absolute pleasure. Catch you next time. What it is, the reason why you didn't get the chance to video very much was. Jimmy was reading his book to a, on the history of life as a Lynn Larson. And what that entails is I'm talking absolutely foreign. So there was nothing to <laughs> Is there any need that for that kind of a language? <laughs> Aye, that's why we're fans. Aye, uh, you'll get on one, you know, and you'll be here for another three hours with a waffling crap, you know. <laughs> so do, do an escape and evasion while you can, lads. I'm going to get away from the images are small. I know, they are. I need to get this net back on. Now you wait, Damien, I'll catch you on the next one, mate. So watch what you're doing. And we'll see you all on the next one. You know it makes sense. Right. Bye then. Bye. Right. I will. We'll... I'll see you later on when we decamp properly. Adios, amigos. Right, well. That's me all masked up and goggled up, ready to move out. Yes, <laughs> yes, surely. 
the midges are absolute nightmare like so i'm getting masked up i can't wear the net thing over my head it's absolutely horrendous like but anyway i yeah this is just a keep it keep the crap off us i'm wearing these because we're going through some dense bits of woods and uh I, i've nearly put my eye out on the way in here yesterday like so these are just a pair of old issue goggles so i found them so i'm going to use them like and they're not going to come off my head if i hit anything because i've got a nice strap band all the way around and then obviously this if the midges get too bad on the way through but it is what it is isn't it so now you wait yeah we're all packed up as you can see packs on backs ready to go and this is the area where me and Rooney were keeping so obviously my area there I'm going to take these goggles off because I can't really see properly at the minute the steaming up a bit that's my area there all nice and clean left no rubbish at all the same with Rooney's obviously we'll probably be back here again and anyway doing a camp with uh, Damien as you've seen earlier on he's he's now uh, left him and Davey earlier on we've just been having the slow pack up we're going to a day kit whack Bergens and then repack them again ready for the, my next camp so we're heading off up to the bushcraft camp for a night not sure if it'll be a different video or not but anyway if it is then uh, it will be so thank you very much everybody for watching um, I'm not sure what the footage is going to be like because it wasn't much last night but in any way really appreciate it Rooney's on his way out there now um, so we'll catch up with him on the next video and I'll catch you later. See you.